What's up guys? Just got a short little video to talk about uh, the plan, sort of talk about what we're going to be doing for the month of September and moving forward. So if you saw that there wasn't really a update yesterday, there was kind of an update. We just did a small little bug fix to make sure that the superior Slayer creatures are working correctly. Those should be working correctly now. If you have any issues or you experience anything, just let us know. But uh, that should be a lot better. Um, that was the only thing on the update. Uh, next week we will have another update. And then we are going to start moving towards a bi-weekly update schedule. I, um, I, I noticed the last handful of updates, there's just a lot of things that slipped through the cracks. Just a lot of small, minor issues. Um, just a lot of things that, uh, you know, a lot of th problems we had on Revival Classic were due to, you know rushed updates that were not thought out or had small issues here and there and that's kind of the same thing we were recreating you know we were just kind of spamming out content um and then delays were making things worse and worse um you you probably remember i made a video uh, a month ago maybe even longer talking about what was going to come out and i mentioned um big chinchampa which has not come out yet i mentioned volcano which has not come out yet I think I mentioned the Ashes Dungeon, which has not come out yet. And Ashes Dungeon was mostly completed for a while and then got messed up and then is kind of in limbo right now. But it's, it's still going to happen. But the point is we've not been able to deliver on a lot of things and a lot of smaller random crap has sort of, you know, jumped to the forefront because it could be done, right? And I don't, I don't want to get in a position where we're just updating the server to update the server. I think we're at a point now where we've kind of realized that in order to, to, to progress as a server, to really get more players, to get into the 40, 50 player count, we're going to have to make some serious changes. We're going to have to make some serious improvements. The home location is going to be the, the main thing I'll talk about um, later in this video. But um, we got to get players coming, and I think part of that is going to be you know less less frequent updates. I know that's gonna, that sounds odd, but I think more substantial, better updates is, is what we need. And we need uh, in-game content. I know that's really important. Um, so the plan is for next update, we are going to change the home location. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about where yet. It, you, you just, you know, you'll see it when it's done. But we are going to change the home location and then we are going to redo the training grounds. And I, I want to make the training grounds really like fun and I want to make it so that it's like so rewarding. That it's almost like it's the first thing you, you do on the server guaranteed. When you first join the server, you're like, how do I make money? Everyone goes, training ground, training ground, clone, clone, train, clone, clone, train. I want that to be, like, the guaranteed way to start off the server. Just because I think, like, it helps. A lot of people kind of, when you play a server, you, you it's overwhelming. You don't know what to do. If you have a guaranteed, like, first thing you're doing, and I think with the training ground, you can really get people to stay there for quite a while. Because, I mean, yeah, my, my goal is that you'd hopefully could, could be convinced to stay there all the way to your max combat stats. That's sort of the plan. So um, I plan to like kind of add a mini boss to it and add a training points. I mean, it's going to be essentially Elven Gold. Elven Gold is what the training currency will be. And going to make a lot more additions to it. There's going to be some like in-game unlocks that are kind of going to be... I don't want to like force people who are already maxed to play this content just to, just to get it. So that's kind of where I'm at dilemma-wise on, on adding in-game content to it. But... I plan to add some stuff, at least at least some sort of special box that will give you access to it or whatever. But it should be a lot of fun, and those two big things hopefully help with the early player engagement. Release group Iron Man, so that should hopefully help too. Uh, hopefully, you know, if someone finds out about the server and they have a friend that'll you know be convinced to want to bring them to try to you know try group Iron Man. Um, we fix hopefully we fix the DNS issue recently. If you're a person that's had that issue in the past. Uh, try downloading the client. Just download the launcher. It's the first link in the description, uh, and see if it works for you. Because we're pretty confident that that the new client should be working. Uh, I say we're confident, but it's like I had I had no involvement in that. That was all done by Dark, and uh, if it doesn't work, you're mad at him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So the main thing I want to talk about for this video was the survey survey link in the description as well. Uh, I'll just sort of go over it now. I just kind of want to get your feedback, September feedback just to, you know, sort of gauge where you guys are at. Uh, so the first one is, what would your dream giveaway, dream event be? What is, like, the, like, like let's say I it's Christmas and, like, or it's our, our one-year anniversary or something like that. You know, we want to do a huge event. What is, like, what is, like, the biggest huge event you can realistically see? Now, don't just say, oh, I'll give everybody Tour of the Claws. 
Um, I mean, I guess you could say that if you really want to, if that's your dream event or giveaway. But I'm just trying to gauge like what people really, really like so we can, you know, make sure when we have good events that they are good. And we don't just go, oh, we have a big, you know, big crazy event. And then it's just like double pest control points and no one gives a crap. Uh, so next up, we have what area of the game do you think is currently like the most? Early game, mid game, late game, end game. I kind of know what people are going to pick, but I, I'm hoping to be surprised by other things, but we'll see. Which of these do you think needs most improvements? I'm guessing people are going to say bossing, but it could be skilling. I doubt PvP will get any votes. Would you ever PK on Revival 2? I imagine I know what the answer is going to be, but, you know, I just kind of wanted a good, like a straight up, you know, straight up, what is the answer? So when people complain, I can show them this, the results. <laughs> Which of these types of events would you like more? Um, yeah, a lot of this is just kind of gauging your... I mean, that's the whole point of feedback surveys, gauging your opinions. But it's it's just trying to figure out exactly what you liked about some of the recent events. Because um, it's not always exactly clear what you like about events. And some people will say, oh, they like this event and they like that event. And usually what it boils down to is, was that event overpowered or was that event... You know, like that's really what it was about. It's like, did you get a bunch of loot? So if, if it's as simple as that, then so be it. But um, recently we had that sort of dilemma. We, had, we released two player appreciation events. The first one was random loot. You just randomly got the, 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 the elite mystery boxes and the bonds. Or um, with the most recent event, the elven gold one, you got guaranteed loot. Basically just got elven gold and you could buy whatever you wanted from the store. So... Which style did you like more? It seemed like people liked the first one more, but maybe there's, you know, aspects of it I'm not thinking about. And that's why I figured I, I probably should have put, like, a, an other option instead of mix of both so you could give me your opinions. But um, I guess you can always just give me your opinions anyways. Comment, uh, the, you know, comment on this video or add it to the one of these other boxes or whatever. Uh, where were we? Uh, just most of an annoying bug you still experience in your game today. Just trying to work on fixing things up, cleaning things. Most favorite unique feature that we've added. Just something that's, that's not on classic or not on old school, but that we've added to RuneScape 2. Could be as simple as the lightsabers. I, I mean, I don't... That's kind of Karasi sword, but I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe... Uh, whatever you like. Anything as simple as just one quality of life change. I don't know. I don't care. Just... Yeah. Which of these do you want first? This is when we have the date upgrade, I believe. Uh, Dark has been working on it. It's been tough, but I believe he's making progress. So once we have that, which of these do you want? I believe we kind of have Theodore Blood now, but um, I think we're still missing like some stuff. So that's why it's kind of a question mark. But still, like, the, 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 I'll, I'll talk about the, the actual plan for, uh, coming up in a second, but... After the actual plan, which when we have data, which of these would you want? And I'm, uh, you know, it's, it's up to you, but uh, you know, pick, pick. I would guess next would be the easiest, just because we already have the mass system coded. And then add your username to, into the party hat giveaway. The prize for this giveaway is a party hat. Any choice, your color, any pick. You can even pick black or rainbow. I assume that's what people will pick, just because those are the rarest. But yeah, if you win, you can pick black or rainbow party hat. Or if you wanted a different one, party hat of your choice. Uh, and that is that there. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm not ending the video because we have to talk about the actual plan. I forgot to talk about the actual plan. Okay, so the actual plan, like I mentioned earlier, is that we're going to redo the home location. We're going to redo train. That's most likely going to be in the next two updates. My, I'm hoping I can get them both in the same update, but I really want to make train good and I'm not willing to compromise on it. And um, so if you're going to get an update. Today, when I'm making this video and uploading this video, is the 10th and is Saturday. You're going to get another update on the 16th, and that is hopefully going to be the home location. And then my plan would be on the 30th to release the training grounds as well as uh, some other things. When we're moving to the bi-weekly schedule, we'll hopefully be able to improve, like add a lot more little things as well. Like Part of the problem is stuff like that I mentioned earlier, Ash's Dungeon, is it's uh, half of it's coded, so it's it's almost ready to go, but it, it needs some time to get the other half done. And, you know, part of the plan is to get some of that stuff coded. As well as Zolcano. I actually was working on Zolcano for quite a while, but um, when the event came around, I had to stop moving on, I had to stop working on that. And then it basically became all about the event. So Zolcano is not finished at all. I have not made progress on that in a month or so, but Hopefully you'll have those kind of updates in the in the you know in the middle. So it's not just going to be the home location. It's not just going to be trained. There's going to be some other stuff as well. And by all means, bug reports, suggestions. I'm constantly looking at those. Um, I know that what's posted today was the, the um, 
was improving the wilderness slayer drops i know that we um we want additional ways to like to turn in your extra pets sometimes from uber boxes you can get the uh the legendary companions and if you have if you already had one then you have a duplicate and it's obviously a very valuable companion so you want some value out of it so that's coming shortly too probably in the next update i can pretty much guarantee that'll be in the next update update because that's pretty easy to code but so the plan for September is essentially get uh, both of the those important early game things fixed. And then from that point, starting in October, we are going to have a Halloween event in October that will be released on... Uh, honestly, that might be released on the 30th with Train, but it depends on what other things happen. Either the 30th or the 7th. One of those days will be the, the, Octo the Halloween event will start. And then you'll have some uh some other stuff that that week on the 14th and then uh, or you might actually not i don't think you have an update on the 14th you won't have an update on the 14th well you will if it's on the 30th that's that's why it's confusing uh, i shouldn't talk about it because i don't know which day it's going to be yet but the the second to last week in october we are going to release god wars 2 so god wars 2 will be the very first big in-game type content that we're going to be releasing because in my opinion right now i think that's what we need the most i think we need the early game stuff cleaned up a little bit like the home locations just make it easier for new players and then um, a little bit more direction early on could be helpful with with train hopefully we can accomplish that and then i think we need very end game content i think that's where we're at a lot of the players have i mean there's quite a few people who have almost completed raids They've done everything there's to do. They're getting bored. I understand you guys. I'm, you know, you're not ignored. You're not forgotten. I, I understand you. After we get this early game shit solved, God Wars 2 is the very first plan for in-game content. And when I say in-game content, I mean higher than uh, some of the things we, you know, mentioned earlier. Like, it'll basically be around next type. It'll be, I mean, it's going to be tier 80, tier 85, that, that tier. So, you're going to have some stuff that you'll be using for a very long time and, uh, I think it. I think it'll be nice to have like our own custom content first, and then we'll then we'll get a f and then we'll basically just focus on all the things we're missing from uh, from God Wars Two. So hopefully we'll have nice nice events. Uh, then November we will have a event in November, and then of course in Christmas we'll have an event in Christmas. So there will be pretty much three events back to back to back. Um, some of them will tie into God Wars Two, but then after God Wars Two is released in October, then you know November will kind of. We'll kind of uh, uh, you'll see you'll see but anyways thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed I, I appreciate everybody sticking with the server for as long as you guys have um i know it's been tough i know I, you know i think the player count is you know 10 15 since the event has ended Try, you know trust me guys we're, we're working on it we're not we're not quitting even if you know if, if everything seems slow behind the scenes i know this last update was a, a perfect example of that but you know we're still we're still here we're still we're still working on things and um you know hopefully you'll hopefully you'll be able to see the progress